MRI is magnetic resonance imaging, and what it does is uses a large magnetic field to image our patients without using any type of radiation. MRI gives us much better quality of certain pictures in the body, especially soft tissue, the brain, joints, um, and especially with neurological conditions. Often a CT scan is normal, but it still does not explain the presentation of the patient, and we need an MRI urgently. Every single person on Earth has heard a story about some horrible disease that has not been discovered by CAT scanning, but has been detected easily with an MRI scan. MRI is one of those machines that really is the final stop. It catches everything. So currently we get the mobile trailer one week out of four. It's only available at that time, which considerably makes our wait list longer than it should be for this region. I have personally had, uh, what, I believe, a 10-month wait to get an MRI as, as you're condition worsens and you're sitting there waiting for a diagnosis, it certainly doesn't help. You can wait nine months and we'll have it done in Cranbrook or you can pay a thousand dollars and Calgary will do it for you in two days. I was just talking to one of the staff here this morning that they had to take their mother to Calgary uh, at an expense of probably two to three hundred dollars because they couldn't get in here. So the need is here for the MRI? Absolutely. You know it's important for everybody in the region to see this as, as their hospital. It's our hospital, it's, it's not the Granbrook Hospital, it's the regional hospital, and if you're really sick or you're really hurt, this is the place where you know they can save your life. As an emergency physician in a small community, I don't really consider MRI one of the tools that we have readily available to us for emergency medicine. Uh, and I think that, again, having one available would, again, advance what we can offer from an emergency perspective. If we can't provide the health service with an MRI when you need it, chances are your health is going to degrade and possibly you might pass before you get a chance to get diagnosed properly. We will always have needs that won't be fulfilled in totality by our health authority or the provincial government. And we rely tremendously on our community who we serve to help us out in that regard. I think that there's no better reason to donate than to recognize that uh, that money has a direct impact on your community. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you for having open pockets. Thank you for seeing the need and thank you for donating.